In our last episode, following a journey from Dawson City to Chicken, we camped at the Alaska State Tok River Campground for the night and departed in the morning for the 13-mile drive to Tok, where we fueled up and resupplied at the Three Bears General Store. Today, we will take the incredibly scenic drive on famous Alaska Route 1, the Tok Cutoff and the Glen Highway, and travel to the interior of Alaska on our golden anniversary adventure. From Florida to Alaska, from the East Coast to the West Coast, join Jay and Steve celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary, traveling across North America in the cool Nana coach their 27-foot Freedom Elite Class C motorhome as they visit the many beautiful points of interest in all 50 United States on their golden anniversary adventure. The Toke branch of Three Bears is the first of a chain of stores that was established in 1980. Inside, you'll find a great selection of groceries, fresh meat, produce, beer, wine, liquor, hardware, health and beauty aids, fresh bakery, appliances, seasonal items, hunting gear, firearms, and more. An outdoor RV wash is operated alongside the Three Bears store on the eastbound side of the Alaska Highway, just before the visitor center on the westbound side of the Tilt Cutoff. The charge is $18 plus tip, but in a few moments I'll explain a $2.50 alternative to be found at the Sourdough Campground just a half mile or so south on Alaska Route 1. Sourdough Campground offers full hookups, pull-throughs, laundromats, showers, dump station, RV wash, free Wi-Fi, and the famous sourdough pancake toss. The sourdough pancakes stay semi-firm and fly somewhat like frisbees. Flinging pancakes has become a time-honored tradition at the campground following dinner. For the campers who want to try their hand at tossing pancakes, they're given two chances to toss a pancake into a bucket. Each winner receives a free breakfast the next morning. The coin-operated car wash is a must-stop. It's also the last car wash for several hundred miles. Now for my $2.50 RV wash alternative, we carry a bucket, wash brush, and car wash soap with us. The coin-operated car wash takes five quarters for about five minutes. I fill the bucket with water and add soap, and then spray down the loose dirt on the RV. Then scrub down the RV with a brush and soapy water from my bucket, and then rinse it off with a second batch of five quarters. $2.50, and I'm done. We now head west on Alaska Route 1, headed for Glen Allen. The Toke Cutoff is reported to be a terrible road with horrible frost heaves, ruts, gravel sections, and all-around miserable conditions. This reputation is quite undeserved as we found the road being in very good shape overall, not the so-called terrible road moniker it has been tagged with. True, there are many, many frost heaves, most of which have been apparently recently repaired and patched, but the patched areas remain bumpy and it's best to drive slow on this road. The highway grades are moderate and the entire route is paved. It parallels the Mentasta and Wrangell mountain ranges and spans the fertile, crop-producing Mantanuska Valley. The area is heavily populated by bear, moose, caribou, and doll sheep, and there is good grayling, trout, and salmon fishing in many of the streams and rivers. There are many places where you can turn off and enjoy the spectacular views of the snow-capped mountains. 
The Montasta Lake area was hard hit in the 2002 7.8 earthquake that struck the area. It's essentially an Athabascan community with no visitor services. The Montasta mountain range rise to 6,000 feet on either side of the highway. The 40 mile long range is bounded on the north by the Alaska range. Just past Bartell Creek, we encountered one of the ongoing road repair projects being undertaken by the Alaska Highway Department. Fortunately, we timed it just right as a pilot car was just about to lead the small convoy through the zone as we arrived. It's important to keep your distance from the vehicles ahead of you as these zones always have loose gravel that will get kicked up by the vehicle in front of you and will damage your windshield if you are too close. This particular stretch of highway repair was about a mile and a half long and required having just one lane open for all traffic. The highway department does an excellent job controlling traffic with lane closures utilizing pilot cars to safely lead motorists through the affected areas. The Christachina River heads into the Christachina Glacier in the Alaska Range and flows about 48 miles to the Copper River, which is just south of the highway here. At milepost 34.6, Potsy's Sonona Creek Trading Post has fuel, groceries, native gifts and crafts, hot coffee and ice cream, and it's open year-round, seven days a week. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss our future episodes. We arrive at Gakona Junction. This is where the Toke Cutoff portion of the Glen Allen Highway ends and the Alaska Route No. 1 joins Alaska Route No. 4 from Delta Junction. We continue south another 13 miles. It's been a long day and we are just about to Glen Allen and we've been looking for a place to camp for the night. We had previously listed several Gakona, Glen Allen and Tosona Lake area campgrounds that we thought we might reach on today's drive. Well, Gakona was not yet open and we passed it by, so we continued another couple of miles or so to the Dry Creek State Campground. It was located maybe a half mile or so off the highway with a relatively neat appearance. The entrance road, gravel, with a few cumbersome ruts and heaves, was a deterrent going in, but we continued on. It wasn't a bad place to spend the night or so it appeared. The back end campsites were spacious enough, but we would have to drop our Equinox Toad in order to camp there, so that too was a deterrent. And it had plenty, and I mean plenty of mosquitoes. Finally, it was totally deserted, not one single person in the place. With no camp host and no other campers, and knowing that there is a large bear population in this region, we decided to pass it by and search for an alternate campground.
we've reached Glen Allen at the intersection known as The Hub. This is where Alaska Route 1 and 4 separate. Route 4 extends to the Port of Valdez, while Route 1 turns west and continues to Anchorage. A major fuel and supply point, the Hub, as it's known, is a very active place. The majestic mountains surround us, the Chugash to our south, the Wrangells to our east, and the Talkeetna Mountains and the Alaska Range to our west. The snow-capped peaks are incredibly picturesque here in what is known as the Copper River Valley. Unfortunately, they are somewhat shrouded in a cloudy haze, presumably spawned by steam from the melting snows on the top of Mount Wrangell, the largest active volcano in Alaska. The Wrangell Mountains are home to several thermally active volcanoes, Mount Wrangell being the largest and has demonstrated activity as recent as 2012. We continue on Alaska Route 1 for another 14 miles to the town of Tulsona, where one of the campgrounds we had listed earlier as a potential campsite. This campground is also the site of one of the oldest original operating Alaska roadhouses. I hope you'll join us in our next episode where we set up a creekside campsite at the famous Ranch House Lodge and RV Resort. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you. 